going to do a quick little cladding test here and I'm going to show you the things I've got to make this happen and we'll do a real quick one and hopefully that'll be all we need. First thing we're going to look at is the fr frequency generator so, and we've got that connected to a speaker little five inch four inch speaker whatever it is and you can see it has a readout here we go up or down frequencies mute I'm going to sprinkle some pepper this is old pepper old is important because it doesn't make you sneeze it's lost its volatile oils so we sprinkle pepper over at the top and we will have to vacuum some pepper out of the instrument when we're done. We don't really want it inside the guitar. At any rate, very simple. We're going to turn on the sound generation. I'm going to turn this way down to a very low frequency, about 10 hertz with bat cycles per second. And we can see I'm using the, I'm driving the air inside here to increase the volume and the effect that it has on the top. And we just start our sweep. The, the vibration of the pepper on the top. Now right now we can see a small amount here that's vibrating. It's not vibrating enough to, to move it away from that center area, but that is at 13 hertz. So we'll back that off a little bit. We'll go up some more. Now we've got a little bit larger area. That's at 18 hertz. Okay. We're just stepping up by one hertz each time. Okay, now we're at 29 hertz. We can see some more happening. Now it's actually going to move it away. We're at 31 hertz. 32 kind of loses it at 32. 31 kind of gives us that. So we're going to look there and we can see that we've got, in essence, a monopole around here. One big vibrating area. And then where all the pepper ends up is where it's vibrating the least, what we call a nodal line or a node line. Here in the middle where it's vibrating the most, that's called an anti-node, kind of node, anti-node. Node doesn't vibrate, anti-node does vibrate. So we've seen that now. We've got actually three little monopoles that we've seen so far. Now we're going to go up a little higher. We're at 50, 60. The volume's getting a little higher. Seventy-two and something's starting to move. Seventy-three, four, five, six. Things are moving. As we go up, they get a little stronger, stronger. Identifying where the actual resonant frequency is is rather difficult in this case because we've got a range. Okay, we started somewhere in the 70s, we ended up over 100. Okay, somewhere in there is the actual resonant frequency. 
This is, is actually what we call the air resonance at this frequency.